Hey, I'm Chris from TechSpert, and this right here is the Books Nova 3 Color e-reader. It's an e-reader with a color display, as the name kind of suggests, making it a solid choice for any graphical novel and comic book enthusiasts out there. Not only that, but it runs full Android 10 as well, which means you can actually download any Android app, game, whatever you like onto this device and use it as you would on a phone or a tablet. But the Boog's Nova 3 Color e-reader ain't cheap. It's already launched US side. It costs $420 there. It will be available on Amazon UK over here. And no word on the official UK pricing, but it'll probably be around that sort of 300 or 400 pound price point. Now I've been using the Nova 3 Color for a couple of days ahead of the official launch. So here's a full in-depth look at this bad boy right now to see if it's really worth that rather steep asking price. And for more of the latest, greatest tech, please do pause, subscribe, and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So let's start with the design and the Book's Nova 3 Color e-reader looks basically like a Kindle and most other e-readers that get out there likes the Kobos and everything. It weighs just 265 grams, so it's not much heavier than most modern smartphones. I find it perfectly comfortable to clutch all afternoon long while indulging in a good comic book reading session. And I'm not exactly, you know, super Mr. Beefcake here. And I've also been cursed with quite stumpy fingers as well. But as you can see, I can just about wrap my mitts around the back of the Nova 3 colour and just clutch it like so. And I definitely found this the best way to hold it because as you can see there's quite skinny bezels uh, on either side of the Books Nova 3 colour screen. You've got a soft touch finish around back and as you can uh, probably make out there as soon as it catches the light all of those lovely greasy fingerprints are highlighted. Ugh. Not the most pleasant, but at least the uh, the Nova 3 colour seems fairly resistant to scratches, scuffs, all that kind of good stuff. You can chuck it about and not worry about it getting all messed up. The power button is just up top on the Nova 3 colour. Give that a little tappy tap and you're generally straight into your main screen. And it is full Android 10 running on here, although you wouldn't really know it just from a cursory glance because it's a very different UI from standard Android. Your main display will show any books that you've loaded onto the device. Uh, you've also got a store where you can download download fresh titles. Uh, you've got a notes section and this just allows you to make random scribblings with the bundled stylus which it really does feel like drawn on paper with pen. It's so so natural and fluid. Very impressive stuff. And of course because this is a colour screen you can of course colour in your creations as well. You've also got a storage section and then apps which is where everything you download from the Google Play Store will pop up. And speaking of that Google Play Store you do actually have to activate the Google Play access uh, before you can use it. You do this in the settings section by going to applications. You see an option in here enable Google Play just make sure that that little box is ticked and then you've got to tap on the GFS ID and then you just register your device uh, signing into your Google account and everything and apparently it can take up to 24 hours for Google Play to become active once you've registered uh, the Nova 3 color but I must have got lucky mine was working straight away basically. As for your controls well you've got a single physical button here just beneath the display which is configured to act as kind of a back button by default but you can go into the settings and change that. I've made that more of a home button instead so every time I press that it takes me back to the main screen. And in the settings you can also activate the standard swipe gesture controls for Android as well. So for instance a swipe up around the middle of the display will take you back to the home screen. Swipe up on the left side will open up the recent apps. So you can jump straight back into uh, whatever you were doing or you can close down any apps that are still running in the background. And speaking of apps, yes you basically can dive straight into that Google Play Store once it is active and you can download whatever you freaking like in here. Like seriously, I tried downloading Asphalt thinking it would just tell me to bugger right off, but not fair play, Asphalt downloaded and you can actually run it. I'll say that the Nova 3 colour will run Asphalt, but it's not exactly the way that the game is meant to be enjoyed. Don't forget this is an e-ink display, um, so of course the refresh ain't exactly enough to hold up to the latest racing and action titles. Like if you didn't have epilepsy before, you almost certainly will after a couple of races on this. Likewise, you can stream videos on the likes of YouTube if you like, but again, not exactly an optimal experience. I kind of look like I'm in an old aha video. But you know what? Load up a game of solitaire and you'll have an absolute whale of a time. So yeah, if you're going to want a device to watch videos, play games, yada yada yada, you're going to want to get yourself a tablet. But what about the reading experience? Well, Books does have its own online bookstore, which you can access directly through the Nova 3 Color. Unfortunately, this seems to consist 100% of really old, out-of-copyright books. The good news is that that means that all of them are free to download. The bad news is, if you want anything written in the previous century, you're shit out of luck. But you know, with such riveting titles as stories about animals with pictures to match, who am I to complain? Never fear though, because you can download uh, lots of other book reading apps from the Google Play Store, such as, of course, Amazon's Kindle app. 
And of course, the Kindle Lab is very well stocked with all manner of ebooks, uh, standard textbooks, and of course, a fairly respectable collection of graphic novels as well. Unfortunately, when you browse in the Kindle store, you do get this weird flickering, which happens quite a lot. It can be very off putting indeed, uh, though thankfully that stops as soon as you actually start reading a title. In fact, reading graphic novels and the rest on the Kindle app is a perfectly smooth experience. You've got the usual uh, pinch to zoom if you want to get closer in on the action, especially handy if you've got any very tiny text. Otherwise, you can also double tap and this will take you through a panel at a time just to make things more readable. You can also grab other dedicated graphic novel and comics apps like Comixology. Unfortunately, the uh, the subscription-based service is still only open to US residents, which is a pain in the arse. Or alternatively, if you've got any books stashed away on your computer, laptop, whatever, you can sideload those onto the Nova 3 Color eBook Reader as well. You do only get 32 gigs of storage, unfortunately, on the Nova 3 Color, which does fill up pretty fast if you're sticking a lot of big-ass omnibuses, things like that. On there and also of course if you're downloading lots of apps sadly there's no way of expanding that storage via micro sd either and you can either tap or swipe to uh, flick your way through your various books in pretty much every app out there and of course you can also swipe your way through websites and things like that using the web browser if you want although the low refresh rate on this e-ink display means it's a less smooth experience than you would get on a smartphone or a tablet if you do want to enjoy an audio book on the likes of Audible, something like that, you do actually have a built-in speaker around here on the back end of the Nova 3 Color. Uh, so that'll absolutely do the job perfectly fine. You just drag down uh, the volume menu like so. Blew my mind, just ad adored it. The two megapixel uh, frigging camera. Just like, wow, this is amazing, man. Sadly, there's no headphone jack here on the Books Nova 3 Color, uh, but you do have Bluetooth support if you want to hook up a pair of headphones that way. And the screen itself is a 7.8-inch Kaleido Plus screen as Books cause it and this can display up to 4096 different colors which means it is very limited compared with your typical IPS or OLED display. So take this lovely bit of art uh, from Gideon Falls as an example as you can see on the Nova 3 color those hues are very muted indeed compared with what you would see if you were checking it out on a tablet or even on the printed page. And I also noticed quite a lot of ghosting as well when I was flipping through comics uh, on the Kindle app and also those side loaded onto the device. The previous page isn't always entirely wiped leaving a faint imprint on the new page. The latest update has weakened the effect, but you can still see this in action all of the time, even when playing around with the refresh settings. Certainly no issues with the display brightness though, you've got 17 separate LEDs forming that front light and so you get a fairly uniform brightness throughout the display. And on the maximum brightness I had no trouble reading this thing outdoors, uh, helped along by that matte finish. And the performance actually comes courtesy of a Snapdragon 636 chipset backed by 3 gigs of RAM. So everything is nice and smooth on this thing. The storage is a little bit slow, so you will find that when you tap on uh, a book, for instance, it'll take a couple of seconds usually to load up. That was actually pretty quick, uh, quicker than I usually see it. You usually get this loading screen instead. Because one of the areas where the e-ink display is superior to the likes of IPS and all that is the fact that it drains power a lot slower and I did find that even with the uh, the front light and cranked up to the maximum level I could get a solid 9 or 10 hours of reading out of this thing from a full charge. And the Nova 3 Color e-reader supports Quick Charge 4 as well so when that 3150 milliamp battery is completely drained plug it in you'll get a full charge again in less than an hour. So that right there is my thoughts on the Books Nova 3 Color e-reader after using it for a couple of days. And there's certainly quite a lot to like here but a few little issues as well the likes of the ghost tint on the display which I really hope gets sorted out completely in a future update especially considering this in a cheap device. And it would be great to have a dedicated e-reader for comics and graphic novels as well as I'm plowing through quite a lot of those at the moment and certainly if you buy the big uh, fleshy paperbacks then they can weigh an absolute ton and also they ain't particularly cheap either. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a lovely rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.